What's up, Mustangs? Today is Wednesday, March 8th, and today is National No Smoking Day. So keep your lungs clean, kids. And MTV starts now. My name is Veronica Flores and here are your announcements. Today biology takes their case 21 and there's a senior class officer meeting at break. You should be there right now. On top of that, student council also has their officer meeting. On Friday, Fellowship of Christian Students will meet in the multi-purpose facility and PSAT will be on their field trip. The regular ACT registration deadline is due on Friday as well, so get yourself signed up to avoid late fees. On Sunday, the yearbook price will increase to $75, so go ahead and get yours now. If you enjoy art and would like to expand your skills, Gifted Art will be holding tryouts March 23rd, the Thursday after spring break. Here's your breakfast, lunch, and weather report. Happy birthday to Nicholas Browning, Ava Perkins, William Jacobson, and Angel Edwards. Have a dance party sometime in the day. You know, get pumped, celebrate it. I hope you have an awesome day. And here is Veronica, great lady, might I add, with your weekly roundup. Hey Mustangs, a lot's been happening with our sports team, so let's get right into it. Boys powerlifting competed in the North State meet this past Saturday. Demarius Sanders finished fourth in his class with a 1,300-pound total. Alex Chapman placed third in his class with a 760-pound total. And Elijah Westbrook finished third in his class with a 1,360-pound total. Chapman and Westbrook will advance to the MHSAA 6A state championship in Jackson on April 1st. Good luck to our Mustangs. In other news, Archery set another season-high score in their win over DeSoto Central. The top archers were Catherine Bullheis and Wyatt Jones. And the following were named to the all-county archery team. Catherine Bullheis, Donovan D'Antonio, Luke Burton, Blake Grisham, Jonathan Neal, Brayden Diaz, Wyatt Jones, Skylar Singh, Ashlyn Peacock, Iris Coral, and Mackenzie Bricado. The team will have a home match tomorrow at 5.30, so come out to see them in action. And keeping up with this pace with track, the following athletes finished first place in their relays at Oxford on Saturday. Adesha Ellis in long jump, Jasmine Sorrells in the 100 meter dash, and the following placed first place in the 4x100 meter relay. Kaya Morris, Kyra Morris, Tatiana Gregg, and Jasmine Sorrells. Lance Henderson got first place in the shot putt and is currently second in the state. Kylan Jones got first place in the triple jump and broke the school's record and is currently ranked number two in the state as well. Congratulations to our amazing track team. Our baseball team won both of their games on Saturday, defeating Nettleton 11-3 and Ripley 11-6 after a strong offensive performance. The team had a total of 28 hits and 12 of those hits were extra base hits. Here are the top performers. Miko Taylor went 4-4 with two doubles and Houston Green went 1-3 and drove in three runs. Avery Rogers had three hits, all of which were doubles. Hunter Peake, Scott Green, and Joey Dunning each drove in three runs apiece. Congratulations, boys. Keep up the good work. And I know we say it a lot, but please come and show your school spirit in some of our upcoming games. Thank you for watching, Center Hill. That was your Roundup with Ronnie. In an attempt to keep DeSoto County Schools safe for all students and staff, the following behaviors will not be tolerated. 
the use or possession of gang graffiti, gang drawings, gang dress, or gang activity, distribution of illegal drugs, prescription drugs, or any substance dangerous to students. Distribution includes giving substances to students. Any spoken, written, gestured, or electronically communicated threat that disrupts the educational environment of the school and or suggests that a student intends to cause harm or carry out an act of violence against district property, students, employees, or others, for instance, bomb threats, school shootings, threats, etc. Students who openly defy this warning will be considered a threat to the safety of students and staff. They will be suspended pending a disciplinary hearing. The student could be expelled from DeSoto County Schools. Now, here's what's happening at the Hill. Today, dance continues their tryouts after school. This also extends into tomorrow as well. And on tomorrow, tennis will have another match against DeSoto Central at Snowden Courts. Friday, baseball has a game against and at Senatobia. And finally, on Saturday, baseball will have a game at New Albany from 12 to 4. Please come out and show your support to our lovely Mustangs. That's it for today, everyone. So make sure you're checking the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. As always, here's your quote of the day. You are never too small to make a difference. Greta Thunberg. And finally, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the bell so you don't miss an episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to check out our TikTok. Have a great day, Center Hill, and stay safe.